Voting was generally calm at 27 polling centers, except the Adanse Asukwa NPP Party Office Polling Center. As the voting process was about to begin at 7 a.m., one of the aspirants, the incumbent member of parliament, raised concerns over the album being used. According to him, a different list which had been sent to him was what was supposed to be used. This move was fiercely resisted by his opponent, Samuel Bimfodakwa, and his supporters. At the end of the polls in the constituency in all 28 polling centers, Katie Hammond emerged winner with 238 votes, while his contender had 180 votes. As the final results were about to be released, Katie Hammond and his supporters took to the streets to jubilate ahead of the official declaration. After K.T. Hammond was officially declared winner by the district election officer, he expressed his excitement and indicated that the party would work to ensure unity at the constituency. He was, however, worried by the high attrition rate in parliament. I'm extremely disappointed. I mean, quite a lot of the big boys. I keep talking about big boys. There must be big boys in any institution. It must be. There certainly must be. You can't have children, babies with sharp teeth all over the place. Have big men. Somehow the way we run our contest, the way we do it. I mean, as a, as a, what is the name? It's, very boy, it's very boy. lost. Uh, uh, what what they give? Apparently, it's lost. Uh, well, give it's me the list. Collins is lost. Abdulla, Abdulla, not it. Go to Abdulla is the chairman of Abdulla. He is the chairman of Constitution. Go and see. You know they lost. I mean, what, what kind of what, what kind of system have we put in place? Everybody is losing. What is it?